I'm sure you've heard about the childhood obesity epidemic that's going on and seemingly getting much worse. But maybe this is something you haven't heard, the link between childhood obesity and leptin resistance. Now, if you don't know what leptin resistance is, please check out my other content. I like to educate people about this type of hormonal signaling and how this can actually affect children as well is something that is on the rise. And this has to do with our environment. It has to do with the electronics that we are exposed to and especially our children if you think about it even comparing back you know even five ten years ago our kids did not have that same type of exposure to electronics as they do today when we look at the research it's interesting to note that certain types of mineral deficiencies and this is often linked to leptin resistance has an effect on the insulin resistance so in this study it was shown that the effect of zinc supplementation at just 20 milligrams per day on the markers of insulin resistance resistance, oxidative stress, and inflammation amongst children with metabolic syndrome did have an effect. And they found that in groups with that highly sensitive CRP, that's something that I talk about as a marker and something as an indicator in blood work for leptin resistance, they found in this study that those markers for that insulin resistance decreased significantly after receiving that zinc supplementation. So it's something that, again, we have to ask ask ourselves, yes, our kids may be overweight and this could be on the rise, but what are we doing about it? And are we actually getting to the root cause to help our children to help with their insulin signaling and their leptin resistance as well? Now, for more tips on how to reverse that leptin resistance, please check out my video, Nine Tips to Reverse Leptin Resistance. I'll see you there.